everyone, Tiara here from Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I wanted to work on a fandom soap today, and typically movies are what inspire these soaps for me, but I am also an avid reader. I love collecting books. Some people might just have like a bookshelf. I'm working on my library. My bookshelves are covered in bookish items and special edition covers and signed editions because I'm a nerd, and I'm going to expose my nerd side to you. So hard right now. <laughs> I just picked up a series called A Court of Thorns and Roses. I am on the third book. The first one I don't have because it's on loan to a friend. But it is by Sarah J. Mass, and it's a really good series. And like I said, I am obsessed. There is one particular character in this story that I have a crush on. Um, he's my book boyfriend, and I wanted to make a soap inspired by the character of Rhysan in these books. Um, it is Moon and Stars. I've made lots of those theme soaps before, so if you haven't read the books, I really hope you still appreciate it for the fact that it has moons and stars in it, and it's just going to be fabulous. But um, let's get started and make a resong or book boyfriend inspired soap. <laughs> Starting off with the lye solution, oils, sodium lactate, kaolin clay, coconut milk. <laughs> Mixing all of this together, giving it a whirl, and making sure everything is emulsified. Alright, that looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this off into a couple different colors here. Um, okay, roll your eyes if you don't, <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But my book boyfriend here, his name is Resand. It is a really weird name because in my head I've been calling him something else this whole entire time I've been reading the books. It's R-H-Y-S-A-N-D and to me that is Rysand. But I've been corrected. I stand corrected. It is Reese for short, or Reesan, which I just think is silly, is his full name. But anyway, he is what would be considered like a lord or a king of an area in this book. There's like the autumn court, there's summer and spring, and he is lord of the night court. So, lots of stars and moons going on in this soap. I've got some gunmetal and glam in that guy. I've got some violet in that guy. And in this large container here, I'm going to put some Lady Midnight. These are all from Soapbox Micas. Really happy with them so far. We're gonna give each one of these a whirl. And then I'll tell you a little bit about how I came up with the scent. That turned a little funky, um, assuming that's going to turn back. That looks more like a green than it even did that blue, but th weird things happen in soap. Um, in these books, the author often gives her characters a scent. Not all of them, there's just like one or two that she has described what they smell like. Um, Reese smells like ocean breeze or a sea breeze and citrus. So I have mixed together a little blend here of a brambleberry sea salt and um, their 10x orange oil. And that is what he's going to smell like in the soap. I've tried my best to recreate what I would think those two would smell like together because they're not something I guess you would think to associate with the two. So I'm going to mix that in. Again, even if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, you've never read this, this uh, book series, I hope you can appreciate it for the other things because I'm going to name it um, Resan. And if I didn't name it that, if I named it something else like Moon Stars, you guys would love it just the same. So if 
depending on how you look at it. You can look at it from my point of view, or you can just see it for what it's going to look like. And that is gonna be a very moon and stars and sky looking soap. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of these in. I am going to do an in the pot swirl on this guy. And I'm going to put in a moon in bed on the inside of it. Okay, so that's all mixed in. And I'm just gonna do the in the pot swirl on this. Um, if you haven't read the series and you are interested, I'm not going to give away too much about the book series here. I'm just going to give you a little insight on it. It's fiction. It is a fantasy fiction. Um, if you like fairy tales or even fairy lore, there's a lot of that in there. Um, you know, your typical romance and actions in there. I'm not going to scrape all of this in here. I'm going to leave some of it for the top. And let's put some of this black in. It starts off in the first book as a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it evolves into so much more than that, honestly. It is so much more than that. <laughs> And when I first read this book series, my friend had suggested that I read it because she reads a lot of the same books that I do. And I just I read the first one and I liked it, but I didn't like it enough to pick up the second one. I wanted to read other things and wait on that. And then that was a year ago. So then I just recently finished the second book and I'm like smacking myself for not reading it sooner because I am now obsessed and I am reading the third book in the series and it's definitely one of those books where I can't put it down. Alright, let's pour the rest of this in. I really hope that green color turns back, or that blue color turns back because this is a really funky green that I wasn't going for but I'm sure it will. Happy thoughts. Right, let's give that a whack. Scrape out the rest of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of those little colors on top of there. Get a better spatula. Let's see. And then on top of here, I'm going to put some stars. Maybe some glitter interesting smell I have to say. I can't wait to see what it smells like once it's saponified. That's the true test. Alright, All right, let me get this scraped out. I don't even think the camera is picking up this funky color. I'm going to try and put on a layer of this black and smooth that out. Wish me luck. So this author has written other series. There's actually a series that came out before the Court of um, Thorns and Roses series called Throne of Glass. I have bought the first book of that series and I don't know when I'm gonna start reading that because honestly I'm thinking I don't want anything <laughs> to be better than the series that I just read because I loved it that much. And there's a huge following behind this book series. There are <laughs> candles out with fragrances inspired by them. I mean, you can get pillows and decorations and anything you want because it is huge market out there right now. And I'm trying not to go on like Etsy and look at these things because Bradley just rolls his eyes. <laughs> He'll always be like, what happened? Like I'm reading my book and I like, jaw drops, laughs, sighs, whatever. He's like, what happened? I'm like, you don't wanna know. It's a girl thing. <laughs> but I can talk to my friend Amy about it and she's read all the books. So she's like, get on that book game because you are missing out, and so I'm trying to catch up, but I really don't want the series to end. All right, I think I did it. 
And so you guys are going to be probably seeing another soap inspired by this book series as well. It's very similar in design. Alright, I've got that everywhere. Let me see if I can get this purple on here. It's a little ploppy right now. I'm going to take a chopstick to it. make some pretty swirls in it. Other series that I like to read, I've read Outlander, that's un like number one honestly, um, favorite series. Harry Potter's always got a place in my heart. Um, the Lord of the Rings series, I read them back in high school. I was a huge fan of Lord of the Rings the movies when they came out. I was at like that good age to watch them. And this is a really good series too. So those are probably top four. And then I started reading a series by Holly Black called The Cruel Prince. And that is young adult. <laughs> No shame, okay? I read young adult stuff and I don't feel guilty about it at all. And I like this. It's not very often that I do a textured top like that. I'm always, well, it's really a flat top. Usually I'm mounding the soap up and putting something on it. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave it like this up these edges and then on the side where let's see maybe where there's less purple I've got these little star embeds that I'm going to stick on top of here like that Oh, it's so pretty. See, you would have never ever guessed this was based on a book series, but in my mind, that is where the idea came from. I had something originally sketched up that I wanted to do with like orange and sea salt. And when I read the books, I was like, I have the perfect soap for this character. I can just turn it into a Rissan book boyfriend soap and so I originally started to do that and then I'm like this just it isn't right something isn't right about this and I need to keep that soap how it was originally planned out and just create a different soap for him and so that is what I have done with this I streamed this up last night <laughs> and had to do it and then there's one more that I'm just dying to do that is going to be also based off this character as well. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter on here. Let's see. I don't even remember what this is. I think this was the lapis from Soapbox that creates like a really pretty, yeah. This looks like space to me or a night sky. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna spray this with some rubbing alcohol. I'm going to let this sit for its typical probably 24 hours and then I will come back to cut it. I should give you guys a close up look because this is just amazing. Clean up those edges, don't mind them. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. It is now. <laughs> Okay, so I, I don't know what this looks like on the... <laughs> okay, I need, I need a bigger room, Brad. Oh, uh, yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> in the closet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to unmold this in front of everyone because I don't know what it looks like on the inside. And I'm curious at how that Lady Midnight color turned out. So, let's see what it turned into. Wow, that's cool. It did not exactly go back to the color I was hoping. So when I got done making the soap, I did go on the website on Soapbox Micas and look up what their soap looks like when they use their micas. And that's exactly what it looked like. So if I would have done that before using it, I would have learned my lesson. It's still a pretty color, it's just not the color I was going for. 
so I'll know for future soaps that if I want this color, what to use. I'm going to cut off an end piece here. This is my book boyfriend soap, Bradley. How many of those do you have? <laughs> um, maybe two. <laughs> no, don't tell them. It's <laughs> Jamie Frazier from Outlander and Rhysan from Avatar. So. Rhysan. Yeah, Bradley, you can just roll your eyes all you want. Yeah. <laughs> He actually stepped away from his, um, what is it, UFC yeah. tournament fights on the TV to come say hi to you guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, and to take a look at my book boyfriend, so. <laughs> That's right. I do like those swirls, and that color isn't too bad in there, but if I remade the soap, I would use a darker blue. That is what I'm thinking. I think it looks really cool, though. If I... <laughs> yeah, I like it. What do you think about that smell? It smells good. Let me have a sniff. What do you think? Uh, I think it smells familiar. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I can't put my nose on it. Maybe it smells like those shampoo bars you've used before. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, I used that scent and some orange. <laughs> I mixed those like, two where things do I together. Smell this <laughs> So today I am going to be making some, I'm going to cut into that, I'm going to be making some candles also inspired by this book series and this character. Your boyfriend? Yeah. I still love you, Bradley. It's alright. <clears throat> Don't be jealous. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing another soap inspired by this character. In that you mean box. candle inspired? No, no, those I'm not going to record. Oh, okay. Those I'm just going to make on my own. But I am going to be making another another soap. There's going to be two soaps in the series. So. Very cool. Yes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. <gasps> okay. And I hope you guys, yeah. Okay. Lost my breath there. Um, hope you have a very nice day and I'll smell you later. <laughs>